Lesetia Khanyaho has just been appointed the South African Reserve Bank Governor. It's a very exciting day for South Africans, or is it? I'm joined in studio by Fin24's Matthew Lacordia to speak to us about it. It well, is actually quite exciting news, it? Jerusha, yes, because I think, you know, this is the, one of the most important positions in our economy. And it was very important to, to get the right person for the job. And I think everyone's quite confident that the right person has got the job. Now, there was a very interesting interaction between former Reserve Bank Governor Jill Marcus and the President, where she really thanked him for appointing somebody from inside the bank. So yes. what's the significance of that? And I think it's the same with uh, Nkhlanklan Nene, who's the, who's the head of the Minister of Treasury, that both of these people have come out of Treasury. They both started right at the beginning of democracy in Treasury and having to deal with day-to-day -day issues regarding the economy. And I think the two of them are going to be working very closely together. And because uh, Lesetia has come out of Treasury, where he was the Director General from 2004 to 2011, they've worked quite closely together. And, um, and so I think that relationship is going to be strong. Going forward from that, having, having been the uh, Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank from 2011 till, till now, he's been guided by and, uh, and, and mentored by, by Jill Marcus who he has said has really helped her, helped him grow and, and, and um, I mean, not that he needed much growing, he's got quite an impressive CV and background. Um, he was at the London School of Economics um, where he did his masters in economics. He's, he's been part of uh, Harvard and WITS. So he's really got the credentials, he's got the experience, he's got the knowledge to really be in the driving seat. And, um, and I think that's why Jill Marcus was so happy with the president that probably her recommendation, probably Nene's recommendation was, was, was acknowledged. I don't think there would have been much, much debate there. Now, general consensus on social media is, uh, please, Mr. Governor, just keep our interest rates down. Is that really a, a big part of his job? Is that what we're going to be looking at him to be doing? So what he said when he came onto camera after being appointed, he said, my main aim is to protect the RAND in the interest of balance and sustainable growth. And so what he means by that is, you know, the dollar is, is trading at, I think it's 11, uh, 27 uh, Rand to the dollar at the moment. And it strengthened actually after his appointment was made. So he has to, he has to worry about uh, the inflation. He has to worry about um, the repo rate and, the, and, and how much credit uh, South Africans are allowed to use. So, you know, there's a lot of controlling and tweaking. They, they observe all the banks. They are the ones who, who, who give licenses to, for banks to operate. So they have to watch currencies. They have to watch the repo rate. They have to watch how, how banks are, are following those guidelines. And, um, and, 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 and to have a very good communication with the, um, the Minister of uh, Finance to, to really steer the country in the right direction and in the direction that, that the ANC-led government wants the country to go in. Now, have we been given any indication of why former Reserve Bank Governor Jill Marcus decided to now step down? I think being governor is quite a stressful job, and I suspect Jill Marcus has has done her bit and and wants to 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 do other things. I don't think it's a job you want to stay in for too long. It's it's quite hectic. She gave us a nice gift, or or I think it was a gift, when she left the repo rate unchanged at five point seven five percent in September, but. Um, the new governor goes into quite a stressful situation now. And a lot of uh, analysis say, say that the repo rate will go up in November. Uh, it's very hard to see it not going up. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of factors, the petrol price is going up, um, food prices are going up. It's, it's a very tricky um, balancing act at the moment. So, so I think um, you know, he can bring his own skills, his own um, learnings to the fore. And, um, and possibly start grooming um, other leaders to, to rise up the ranks. And there's some really exciting people who, who are working in, in the Treasury and at the Reserve Bank at the moment. It's, it's, quite, it's quite exciting to, to see these people coming up. Now, on a much lighter note, of course, everybody was thrilled with his announcement, but Twitter also lit up with some really funny interactions. Well, I think the main thing is, is that, you know, this announcement is very important for global investors. And, and what a, the humor on Twitter was, of course, that, you know, 
um, will will the the international media be able to say his name? Obviously, Jill Marcus mm -hmm. is uh, is um, you know pretty pretty easy. But Lasecha Chanyacho, on the other hand, um, I think we're going to get some interesting media um, sound bites from the C from CNN and uh, BBC as they report on on the on the governor's doing. But at the end of the day, um, you know, it's so important for investors, global investors, to see South Africa stable and. Um, if and be just sent us a an analysis of of how they see it going forward, and they said that you know the the world is looking at all these developing economies, and they're trying to see where they should be investing money, and the slightest foot in the wrong direction could have huge impact on our, our external investors from 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 around the world. So it's important that the right person is in the job, and that they and that they put out the right message. And I think he is the right person for the job. He's been chairman of many international IMF, World Bank committees. He's got he's connected globally with other with other uh, people in the industry. He's got a good track record, and um, and I think he's going to keep the the ship stable. Now, of course, you've been hard at work today on Fin Twenty Four. Where can we go to find all the latest information and to get a little more insight into his appointment? As it happened, is a is a, a great article because it was the, our live, live updates that we that we did, and you can actually go from the beginning and track as the statements were made, the Twitter cards that we brought in, the funny ones, the serious ones, photos from the event, some some video footage that that captured the moment. That's a nice kind of if you just want if you missed out and you want to capture the moment, but of course we've got quite a few pieces of analysis of um, of statements by the president by Jill Marcus. Um, you know, by, by relevant uh, stakeholders, just explaining why this is good and, um, and showing how the rand slightly increased, improved sorry, sorry, against the dollar after the, after the announcement. So Fin24 has got some great content and um, people should definitely go check it out. Um, you, you definitely will have a better understanding of the situation. Thank you. So don't forget it's fin24.com and remember you can follow News24 Live on Twitter, Facebook and of course you can subscribe to our YouTube channel.